Hello everyone, welcome to the Archipelago live stream. My name is Liam, I'm one of the developers here at Archipelago where we create Lightroom presets and creative profiles for photographers. And today we're gonna to take a look at the next release part of our Quest subscription series. And this is actually a Quest bonus set and that is Quest 29 Altitude. Very excited to showcase this set to you today. This one is focused around drone and landscape photography, although it does work on a really wide variety of images. So I pulled out a few images here just to kind of show you how this set works uh, and we'll kind of go through edit a bunch of images showcase the set talk a little bit about the tools that are included all that kind of good stuff uh, so welcome if you are tuned in thank you so much for joining I can see a few people in the chat already tuning in from all over the world very, very good to have you here. So like I said, this is actually a bonus set as part of our Quest subscription series. So for those that don't know, Archipelago Quest is a preset subscription. We release a new preset collection every month that's free for our members to download. And this month we have an additional set, a bonus set on top of the set that we already released in September. Uh, so this is coming out in the next few days as something in addition. So on the 1st of September, we released Quest 28 Descent, which is an artistic, cool-toned preset set collection that's been out for a couple of weeks now lots of positive reviews about that set that's still live throughout the rest of September but we're also releasing in the next few days quest 29 altitude uh, to go alongside it as a bonus set so very very excited to showcase this to you today if you are already subscribed to quest get excited this is going to be landing on your membership in a few days time uh, and if you're not subscribed now's a great time to join quest it's just $12 per month and like I said you get a new preset collection every month we release bonus sets along the way like this one I'm going to showcase today Day. You also get discount off the regular Archipelago presets. That's 30% discount with a code that's on the members homepage. We also do, when we do sales, we also give additional discounts to our members as well via Quest. So if you think that sounds good and you're not yet a member, go over to archipelagoquest.com after the stream so you can check that out and find out more. There is a link in the chat there. There's also a link in the description of this video if you're watching it back. So yeah, we're going to take a look at this set, Quest 29 uh, Altitude. This one was developed by Richard. And like I said, the focus for this set was around drone and landscape photography, uh, but it does work with other images as well. So I've kind of pulled out quite a few drone images um, and some landscape photos, but I've also got some portraits in there just to show you how this set works uh, for that style stuff there as well. So we'll get into the edits shortly. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are tuned in live and you haven't yet jumped in the chat and said hello, do go ahead and do that. You do need to be subscribed to the channel, so just hit the subscribe button, uh, give it a minute or so, then you can jump in the chat and say hello. Uh, and we'll be doing a giveaway as we always do. So if you are tuned in live, get in the chat, say hello, keep chatting as we go through this stream, and we'll be choosing someone from the chat to win a pre-release copy of Quest 29 Altitude. We always like to do giveaways uh, on these streams. So yeah, if you are tuning in live, thank you so much. Get in the chat, say hello, and keep chatting as we go through. And at the end of the stream, I'll choose someone to uh, to win some free presets. People tuning in from all over Guatemala. That's awesome. Uh, Alberta, Colorado. Mamad in sunny Derbyshire. That's up the road from me. I'm in Sheffield in, your, in South Yorkshire. All right, so let's take a look at the images. Let's move over to the uh, Lightroom screen here. So these are the images that I've selected for this stream. Like I said, we've got a focus here on drone and landscape photography. So a lot of the images are kind of um, themed around that, but you'll notice I've got a couple of portraits in there as well, just so you can see how this set works uh, for that type of stuff as well. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll dive in and, and edit this first image um, at the top left here, and I'll showcase the full set, kind of walk through what presets are included, uh, talk a little bit about the tools, all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll just go through the rest of these images and edit them in sequence uh, but if you get any questions as we go through this stream don't hesitate to ask I'll try and keep an eye on the chat as we go through and answer questions you might have about this set or you know presets in general or Lightroom or whatever it might be uh, and if I do miss your question um, then not a problem we've got a couple of team members in the chat there Sean's on Richard's on so uh, yeah let's dive in and take a look at this first image and I'll kind of uh, walk you through the set so this is Archipelago Quest 29 Altitude so what I'm going to do before I show you the presets, I'm just going to go ahead and get this image ready for presets. Now, what we always recommend doing is uh, setting your exposure, setting your white balance before you apply the preset. That's just going to give you a really good starting point and give you the best results in terms of color accuracy, uh, things like skin tones, all that kind of stuff. It makes your life much, much easier. So we always recommend uh, doing that to begin with. So for this one, I'm going to bring the exposure up a little bit there and I think add a little bit of warmth to this image just so that the, uh, the grass is looking a bit more natural. And we're going to straighten up as well. The horizon line's looking 
uh, a little off. So let's go I think somewhere around about there. That looks good to me. All right, so that's a good starting point. Let's take a look uh, at the presets. This image, by the way, is by Bjorn. You can see the photographer's name and their Instagram handle at the top left. Uh, along with the EXIF data for capture. Uh, so as you can see, this one is a Sony file, ARW. Uh, so this isn't a drone shot, but we have got some drone shots as we move through this, uh, but just a mixture of the two so you can kind of see how they work. So let's go ahead and take a look at Alt-1, the first preset in this collection. And it's a really gorgeous transformation. This one's really vibrant, uh, really nice dynamics to it. It's actually my personal favorite preset in the collection. Uh, so this is Alt-1 as a one-click. So you can see that dynamic shift there as we hover over. Could actually go a little tiny bit darker on the uh, exposure. So that's, that's how Alt-1 looks. Uh, Alt-2, this is a little bit more cool, neutral toned. Uh, so you can see this is Alt-1 and Alt-2, slightly less contrast, a little bit sort of muted highlights in comparison and, and that more neutral, uh, cool toning as you can see through the grass and the color of the water. And then we have Alt-3, uh, which is a much sort of softer look. It has lifted shadows, soft highlights, um, so just a much more soft dynamic and still that neutral look. Uh, so similar tonality, but different dynamic uh, to Alt-2. So there are your three base presets, so Alt-1, two and three. So let's go ahead and apply Alt-1 to this. Uh, we've got the Altitude uh, 1 profile that's set to 100 as default with this particular preset. And if we drag that to the left, it's gonna reduce the contrast and it's gonna uh, give more highlight detail. So you can see in the clouds up here, uh, you just get a little bit more of that highlight detail back by reducing that contrast down. And if we increase it, we add more contrast and we get more texture uh, and a slightly different dynamic where it kind of pushes those highlights a bit higher. So personal preference, you can decide where you want to set the uh, creative profile. Now for me, I think maybe, let's just reset that back to 100. I think a little bit of a push, maybe about 135. So a slight increase in the creative profile. I like the way that that's looking. Uh, and then we've got some tools that come with this. Uh, again, these are focused around drone photography, landscape photography, that kind of thing. Uh, so we have uh, tools such as background depth, uh, profile correction, uh, shadow plus, sky recover, and stratus, and then a couple of vignette tools there as well. So let's just move through those one by one. So background depth, you can see that this is gonna add depth to the background of the image. So it figures out where your subject is and it's going to apply more depth to the background of your image. Now for this, I think it works quite nicely. It just brings a little bit more detail to this lovely mountainous uh, island in the background. So if I go ahead and apply that, now, because this is a tool, I can then go up to the presets, uh, preset amount slider at the top left, and I can set exactly how much of this effect I want to have on the image. So if I drag it to the left, I'll reduce that amount. If I drag it to the right, I'll increase that amount. So because there's not a, a really defined subject in this particular image, it's gonna apply it to uh, the entire image. But if I had a really defined subject, you would see that this would apply to the background and not the subject. So I'm gonna increase that maybe to around about there, so about 146. Then we have profile correction. So this just um, turns on the lens correction, the profile correction for your lens. So if you're shooting with a lens that has a lot of vignette or a lot of distortion, um, this will quickly fix that. So this is more commonly gonna be uh, on your landscape photography, maybe more so than your drone photography. Um, just because they don't tend to use the lens profiles. Uh, so this is just a, a one-click solution. So if you need to get rid of that vignette or correct distortion, so quite a handy uh, option to have. And actually for this, it does help because it just brings a little bit more, um, it lifts up the shadows that we're seeing down here that are caused from the vignette and the lens. So if I go ahead and apply profile correction, we then have Shadow Plus, so nice and simple tool, just lifts those shadows. Uh, and again, that could be quite handy for this. We can lift up the shadows at the bottom here and actually bring the exposure of the image down a little bit more so we can balance the two out. And I can just work between those two back and forth until I'm happy with the balance. So super handy to have these tools. I don't have to go digging into the sliders separately. I can just apply the preset, set the amount of it, and it's gonna do that on the image. We then have Sky Recover, and I absolutely love this. Fantastic tool when you've got those landscapes where you've got the sky in the background like this, where we're losing a little bit of that detail just because it's quite a bright uh, sky and there's a lot of light coming in through this way and then it's kind of uh, quite shadowy at the base of the image. So if I go ahead and apply Sky Recover, 
It's gonna take a second, it's gonna use that AI functionality that we're now used to in Lightroom to figure out where the sky is and apply the effect to the sky. And now I can go ahead with the amount slider and decrease or increase that. So you can go for a really dramatic effect or you can go for something a little bit more subtle. You are totally in control with that preset amount slider. I'm gonna go about there, so about 138. So just bring some texture and color back to the sky. I don't wanna go too OTT. And now I'm gonna bring the overall exposure down just a bit more. And I'm gonna go back to Shadow Plus, and I'm gonna increase that probably all the way up. There we go, so that's looking good to me. So let's go ahead and take a look at before and after. Yep, that's looking lovely. Uh, we then have the Stratus, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna bloom those highlights. So rather than having sort of a lot of detail in the highlight area, if you want something that has a little bit more of an artistic feel, you kinda want that nice soft blooming effect, that's what Stratus is gonna do. So if you hover over that, you can see the sky becomes nice and bloomed, and it actually gives a bit of a misty effect on this. And actually, I quite like it. So we could go ahead and do that. You can see it's offsetting a little bit of this sky recovery that we've done. Um, but I'm gonna find a balance between the two. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this. I'm gonna leave it maybe at the default of 100. I'm gonna go back to Sky Recover. I'm gonna increase that probably even more. So I'm gonna go maybe all the way up to 200. So now we're bringing a little bit of detail back, but we have that kind of softening to the sky for a little bit more atmosphere. Um, I absolutely love that on this image. Uh, and then we have two vignette tools, so vignette minus and vignette plus. Uh, so just nice, easy ways to correct the vignette in your image. So let's say you don't have any distortion, you just want to uh, remove some of the vignette or you want to add the vignette back in. Let's say you've done the profile correction, but you want the vignette, you can go ahead and do that. So you're getting rid of the distortion, but you can add the vignette back in if you like that effect where it's drawing the eye to the center of the frame. Uh, for this, I like it as it is, I'm not gonna touch that. Um, and I think this looks really cool. Here's the before. Here's the after, and that's with altitude one. We increased the profile, so you can see this is the profile here, how it's affecting the image. Uh, so we increased the creative profile. We've used some background depth. We've used profile correction. We've used the shadow plus tool, sky recovery, stratus, uh, and we've not used vignette on this, but uh, the option is there if you, if you like that as well. So here's your side-by-side -side comparison. Nice warm edit, very vibrant. Let me catch up on the chat. Anyone know this location? Looks like a painting, really cool. Looks like Norway, yeah, I would agree. It does look like Norway to me. It's a landscape photog photographer. That's a game changer, that's from Lloyd. Thank you, Lloyd. Wow, what a difference from the original image. <laughs> Mary says, this will cause a re-editing binge on my aerial shots. You're gonna find it super easy though. Honestly, these this is probably one of the easiest preset collections I think I've ever used on my landscape Im imagery. It's it's super, super easy to get really, really pleasing results. Love the warmth, absolutely elevated the image. Thank you, Christina. Your presets have really changed the way I edit and the quality of my work. Oh, that's amazing, thank you so much. All right, so that's the first image done. There's your before and there's your after. That one again from Bjorn. So let's move on to the second image. This one here from Anna. I've used this in a live stream before. I absolutely love this photo. So much drama. Um, so let's go ahead and edit this one. This is uh, more of a landscape portrait. So we have an, uh, an individual in the shot, but they're a bit smaller and it's kind of all about the landscape with this amazing mist and these trees in the background. It's gonna set the exposure. I'm gonna keep it nice and moody. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Uh, and I'm quite happy actually with where the white balance is, so we'll leave that as is. So let's go ahead and take a look at altitude two. So there is your one click with altitude two. Again, that's before and after. So lovely, lovely transformation. Uh, again, this one uses the altitude, this one uses the altitude two creative profile. So this is a different creative profile than the first one. Uh, has a similar effect in terms of the way that it handles the contrast uh, and the highlights. If I drag it to the left, you can see we get less contrast, more highlight detail, and drag it to the right, and we get more contrast. Now for this, I really like having that contrast. Uh, just because it gives a little bit more of a silhouette effect to the trees and it kind of pushes those highlights up, um, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of a dramatic effect with this. This is altitude two with the creative profile cranked all the way up to 200. Let's have a look at the other tools, background depth. I'm maybe, maybe gonna use a little bit of this. I'm not gonna use too much, maybe about there, 64. Shadow plus, I don't think I'm gonna use because I wanna keep that um, silhouette sort of effect. 
so as you can see, this one is a DNG file, so there is no profile correction to do on this, but I could get rid of some of that vignette by using the vignette minus tool, which I am going to do. Uh, so just put vignette minus, and that's just lifted some of the shadow around the edge here so that I can kind of get a little bit more of a uniform effect. I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit, just to keep some exposure on the subject here. Uh, I'm not gonna do sky recovery, because obviously we have this very misty um, overcast sky. So there isn't really any detail in there that I want to recover. It's not really gonna help this image very much. Uh, but what I am going to do on this is use the stratus uh, effect. And you can see just how dramatic that looks on this image where it's just blooming those highlights and you get that really, really beautiful effect. So I'm gonna add some of that, not loads, maybe about 67. And then the only thing I'm gonna do with this is because this has a subject in the shot, I'm gonna to go to the stratus layer in the masking panel, I'm just gonna subtract the subject. So now you can see it's just not affecting the subject in the shot there. So now it's just given us that effect uh, in the highlights of the background like that. And we get that really, really dramatic artistic effect. Very, very moody. There's your before, there's your after. I absolutely adore this Stratus effect uh, on the top of the image here, They're absolutely stunning. Definitely going to be quite a fun one to use for uh, for sort of Halloween shots, things like that. Um, definitely looks really, really cool. Mary says, I feel so seen as a drone photog. Rarely have preset, presets dedicated for landscape and such. Love that. Uh, let's see what else we're saying. Excited to try these, Taylor. Not too long to wait. And you could also be in with a chance of winning today by being on the live stream and chatting away as you are. Uh, Pearl's on, almost missed this, I'm here now. Welcome Pearl, thanks for joining him. Makes me want to go revisit my Madeira images. Oh Lloyd, Madeira is a place I've been wanting to go for ages. I love hiking and I've heard that some of the hiking trails on Madeira are, are stunning. Uh, and I've seen all the misty moody landscapes there. It looks very, very cool, I'm jealous that you've been. Uh, Taylor, wow, what a transformation, love that. All right, so let me show you the uh, side by side. So uh, nothing too over the top. It's quite a, a natural uh, edit in terms of the tonality. You can see the color in the dress there stays very similar. We've still got the greens uh, in the grass down at the bottom, uh, but we've just kind of gone for that moody look where we've pushed the contrast with the altitude to uh, creative profile. And then the, the real star of the show, I think is the blooming in the highlights there with the, uh, with the stratus effect, where we get that really beautiful kind of glowy, foggy effect in the sky. Super nice. Alessio uh, has tuned in. Hello, Liam from Italy. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, Mama says, Stratus will be good for my smoke mob. Oh yeah, that's going to look awesome on your smoke mob photos, for sure. Uh, Adam, looking forward to putting them on the Mini Pro 3 Raws. Yes, very, very cool. Megan's on as well. Hello, almost missed this. Yeah, it's a slightly different time today. Uh, it's an hour earlier than we've uh, typically done the live stream, just trying a bit of a different time. Uh, so yeah, if you if you nearly missed it, make sure you get your notifications turned on for YouTube so that you don't uh, miss any future streams. Uh, but thank you so much for joining. Tiffin filter on this image, nice shot. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know if there is a Tiffin filter. I don't think there will be, judging by the straight out of camera. Uh, it doesn't look like there is... Um, any of that kind of glow straight out of camera. I think there's a little bit of it just from the mist, uh, but that effect really is just being produced by this Stratus effect that comes as part of Quest 29 Altitude. Uh, so it gives that very similar effect um, that you would get from using a filter, a diffusion filter um, over your lens, which is something I do love to do. Uh, but if you didn't do that when you shot the image and you wanna create that effect, this is gonna give you that sort of uh, look to your images, which is very, very cool. All right, so wonderful photo there from Anna. Thank you so much, Anna, for letting us use this wonderful image. Again, I'll show you the side by side. All right, so next photo here, another one here from Bjorn. Love this, really nice landscape image here. Uh, this one, I believe, was shot on a drone. So we have this sort of elevated view down the road and then this incredible mountainous scene uh, with the cl low cloud over the top and the, the trees down the bottom here. Super nice photo. I'm gonna use altitude three on this one. Uh, just to show what that set, uh, what that preset can do. So in terms of the exposure and the white balance, I think it's looking pretty good. I wanna keep it looking quite cool because I think that's natural to the scene. 
Um, maybe lift the exposure just a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual preset. So again, this one's altitude three. Uh, if uh, you remember when I said at the start, this one lifts the shadows uh, and gives a bit of a softer highlight. So it's a much softer look than the other two presets. So there's altitude three, and this one uses the altitude three creative profile. So again, a similar type of effect in what it's doing, but it's a slightly different um, uh, creative profile than the other two. So this is it at 100. This is it to the left for that more muted look and to the right where we get that extra contrast. And I think for this, the contrast is really helping the image to pop. It's really just lifting up those highlights, lifting up the midtones uh, and retaining nice dark blacks in the image there. Uh, which just definitely just really elevates the look of this image. I love that. So I'm going to bring that up a decent amount. Uh, I'm going to bring the overall exposure back down just a tiny bit so that we're not blowing out the detail in the road. So there's before and after with altitude 3 creative profile set to 134. Uh, let's have a look and see if we're going to use any of the tools for this. So we have uh, background depth. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. I don't think I'm going to use that on this. Uh, I think there's enough depth in the image and I like the softer look that we're getting from Altitude 3, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, we don't need any profile correction. Again, I believe this is a drone shot, so uh, it probably has built-in correction for the lens that's on there. You can see here it says 10.26 millimeter, which is a 28 mil equivalent uh, on the lens. Uh, Shadow Plus, we could go for Shadow Plus. I might go for a little bit of that just to bring some detail out in the in the trees there and also obviously in our subjects down here on the road. So a little bit of that. Sky Recover we could use because that's gonna just bring a little bit more detail back into the low cloud that's hovering over these mountains. And yeah, that does a really nice job. If you look at that at zero versus 200, just brings a nice amount of texture back into the sky there and into the, the tips of the mountains. So I'm gonna use that probably fairly high, about there, 169. Um, and then Stratus, I probably won't use on this because it's going to do the opposite effect. It's going to kind of bloom those highlights. And actually, I want to keep the detail there. Uh, so I don't think there's anything else I would do to this. I'm just going to probably bring the tint down just a tiny bit because I'm seeing a little bit of magenta coming into the greys of the mountain and the road. And then let's take a look at the temperature. Uh, I want a little bit of warmth for the color in the trees, but I don't want to go too high because I like the, the subtle blues in the water and then in the mountain. So I'll probably leave it there. That's before and after. That's with altitude three, creative profile increased a little bit there. We've done a, a bit of sky recovery, a little bit of shadow plus, uh, and that is about it, I believe. Uh, vignette minus, I think, no, I'm quite happy with the natural vignette that we've got in the image there, so I'm gonna leave that as is. Here's your side by side. I love the color shift on this one. You can see the, uh, the colors in the trees there shifted to be a little bit more yellow. Uh, which I think look really, really nice in this, really nice complementary colors. Uh, and then just that pop that we get, it's so good for popping out the kind of colors and adding that contrast into your landscape images. Really, really nice um, set of presets, this one, for anything that you're shooting outdoors, I would say. China says, oh man, this photo speaks to my soul. Love that. Makes me want to get my drone going. Yes, Sarah, get it fired up. Breathtaking photograph, that's from Maria, thank you so much. Yeah, this one, another one from Bjorn. Again, photographer's name and Instagram handle up at the top left here if you're interested in seeing more of their beautiful work. Beautiful image, that's from Christina. Beautiful, love, wow, I'm in love with these presets. Thank you so much. Awesome, so that's the third image done. So let's just go back to the, the view here. So these are the three edits we've done so far. We've got these uh, shots left to do. So let's start rattling our way through these ones. Image number four, this one from Matthias. Uh, another drone shot here. Uh, love this nice sort of snaky road weaving through the mountains and the trees. Uh, so let's take a look. I think maybe exposure could come up a tiny little bit. Uh, I think the temperature's looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit of a boost in warmth just so we get some nice color uh, coming into the trees. Uh, let's take a look. I think I'll probably use altitude one on this. Wow. Now that is a drastic transformation. And this is what you want to see with your landscapes, your, your drone images. Uh, just a transformation like that in one click is absolutely unreal. I mean, you could literally just do one click and done on this. All I've done is a tiny shift to the exposure. It's like plus 0.14. So barely any change to exposure, a tiny adjustment to the, uh, to the uh, temperature and that's it. That's one click with altitude one, absolutely stunning transformation. I'll show you the others as well though. So this is altitude two. 
which looks really nice. Again, that's a more neutral, uh, cool toned look. And then Altitude 3 for that sort of softer, neutral, cool toned look. But I think Altitude 1 is winning my heart on this one because we've got those amazing greens. It just really elevates that, looks beautiful. So let's take a look at the creative profile. Again, this is the default of 100. This is it down at zero. Very nice look, much softer, less contrast, and then punchy look if we increase it. And I think the default amount probably is gonna be where we're at. Maybe, maybe a tiny increase, 111. So just a little bit extra push uh, in the uh, contrast from the creative profile. Uh, now, I don't think we need to use any other tools, but let's just take a quick look to see if anything stands out. So that's background depth. We could go for a bit of that, actually. It's kind of pushing that that really contrasty, um, vibrant edit even further. So I'm just going to go for a little bit, set that to 30. I'm going to uh, just bring, actually, I'm going to go shadow plus uh, just to lift up some of the shadows just down in this area here where the, the mountain shadow is sort of cast. I'm going to bring that up a little bit more. So this is where we're at so far. Super easy edit. Uh, and I'm not gonna use um, any other tools, I don't think, on this, apart from potentially, yeah, Vignette Plus, just to kind of add a little bit of that kind of darkening to the edges, draw your eye down to the center of the frame where this amazing road is snaking through the scene. And that's it, I would be done there. What an amazing transformation, super, super nice. There's the side-by-side. Wow, I'm in love with these presets. Thank you so much. Great image with the awesome leading lines and perfect edit. Thank you. Wow, I love this. Alt 1 OMG. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> Mary says, bruv, that's insane. <laughs> love that. Uh, them greens, that's from Adam. Yep, them greens. I'm, uh, yeah, they are beautiful. The contrast bump makes the image pop along with the shift in greens. Could not agree more. Now I just want to take my camera and take some nature photos. Yes, go for it. All right, so there we go. Before and after, that's with Altitude One. Uh, wonderful image. Again, this one by Matthias. You can see their Instagram handle at the top left there. All right, so let's move on to the next image. Another one from Matthias. This one is a, a landscape shot rather than a drone shot. This one's shot on a Sony camera. You can see the ARW file type at the top there. Love this, really nice. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, looks a little bit like Switzerland or Austria, somewhere around there. Got this really unique architecture with the building here and I love this perspective uh, down here in the grass uh, with the beautiful little wildflowers and then there's huge mountains in the background. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the exposure up just a little bit and add a tiny touch of warmth, maybe about there. And it just needs a little bit of a straighten, probably, yeah, probably around about there. That's looking good to me, yeah. All right, so let's take a look. Altitude one, looking nice. Altitude two, altitude three. I think it's gonna be either two or three on this. I'm gonna go for two. Let's take a look at the creative profile. Really, really nice. I'm gonna bring the profile down just a little bit so we get a little bit less contrast and we get some more detail back in the sky. I'm gonna offset that by bringing the exposure up a little bit here as well. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of magenta. And let's have a look at the temperature, I think, about there. So just a little bit more warmth in the temperature. All right, background depth, let's take a look. Uh, I like that, but I don't wanna to go too OTT with the contrast. I'm gonna leave that as it is. Uh, profile correction, we definitely will do, because we've got that uh, wide lens here. So this is a 16 millimeter shot, so it's quite a wide uh, focal length. So there's a decent amount of distortion. If I undo that, you can see the amount of distortion and a little bit of vignette there as well. So profile correction, great to have. Uh, shadow recovery, I don't think we need to do uh, much of that. Maybe a little bit. I'm just looking at the tree uh, to the right there and just some of the detail down in the grass. So I'm going to bring that up a little, not too high, about maybe there. Uh, sky recovery, I think we will use that on this because we've got quite a nice texture in the sky there. So. This is it at zero, this is it up at 200. I'm not gonna go that high, but I wanna go somewhere between the two, maybe about there, 119, just to bring some of that color back uh, and texture back into the sky. Uh, Stratus, again, you can see how that works. You get that nice softening. It's kind of mainly affecting this part. And I really like the way that looks actually. So we could go for a little bit of that. Um, I really like mixing the two, so having the sky recovery to bring the detail in, but then just using Stratus to kind of soften that back up a little bit. 
Uh, I think there looks really nice. It's just softening this part here where the highlights are and it kind of just makes it blend a little bit better into this area. So it's a lot more natural looking, but we still get that recovery uh, happening. So the sky kind of looks like it does in the unedited image, but of course we've brought back some of the, the shadow area, all that kind of good stuff down there. So that's looking good. I don't think we need to do anything else. Uh, actually, maybe the vignette minus uh, just to kind of tidy up the corners of the image there. So there's your before, there's after. Uh, and that is with altitude two. Creative profile backed off just a little bit. We've used uh, the profile correction, shadow plus, sky recovery and stratus, and then vignette minus. What we're saying in the chat, coming out at the perfect time for the full foliage shots. Yes, Mary, this is gonna make those images pop. Uh, the photograph reminds me of fairy tale stories. That's awesome. Really nice tones in these presets. I spend most of the autumn season in the northern Maine woods and these presets are going to be perfect. Love that. Thank you so much, everyone. So again, there's your before and after. All right, so let, where are we? We've done the whole of the top row. We've got the last three images to do here. Just as a reminder, if you joined late, we of course are going to be doing a giveaway, a pre-release copy of these presets, Quest 29 Altitude, uh, to someone that's tuned in and chatting away in the live chat. So if you are, do jump in the chat, say hello, keep chatting as we go through. We'll choose someone after I've edited these last three images to win a pre-release copy. Uh, but this set is a bonus set coming to Archipelago Quest uh, in the next few days. So if you are a Quest member, as well as Quest 28 Descent, which came out on the 1st of September, you've also got this set to look forward to coming out in a few days time as an additional bonus set. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to Quest, go and uh, check out archipelagoquest.com after the stream to find out more about our Quest membership, but it's a preset subscription service. You can subscribe for $12 per month, uh, and we release a new preset every month that's free for our members to download. And along the way, we do bonus sets like this one uh, that we just give out as an addition to the regular sets. So lots to love about Archipelago Quest. Definitely go and check that out if you're not already a member. If you were to sign up today, you can go ahead and download Quest 28 Descent immediately, and then in a few days, you can then go ahead and download Quest 29 Altitude. All right, so, Image number six, let's jump into this one. This one by Bjorn again. Uh, we have this lovely foresty scene with the river running through the, the middle here. I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten this up a tiny little bit and bring the exposure up a decent amount. You can see you got this bridge running through with the subject here, uh, the river, and then these amazing trees on the sides. Uh, this one is another drone shot by the looks of things, uh, 6.7 mil. Um, so it's definitely a drone uh, image just hovering over the river looking down, which is very cool. Uh, I think the temperature could go up just a tiny touch, maybe about there, and then we'll see what we're doing with the exposure in a moment. So let's go ahead and take a look at the presets, altitude one, two, and three. And I'm definitely gonna use three on this because we have quite a high contrast scene uh, here already because we've got quite a lot of shadow in the trees and down in the river, and then the sky is quite bright. So altitude three is gonna help to just kind of offset that. I'm gonna bring the exposure up now that we've got the preset applied so I can see uh, what's looking good with the subject. Love the way it's rendering the greens and the trees a little bit more cool toned uh, and it just gives me the option to just add a little bit more warmth back in uh, to the image so we get some warmth in the rocks there and in the in the bridge. So I think maybe around about there. I'm going to take a look at the profile. This is it down at zero. This is it up at 200. Just add in a really nice amount of contrast to the image. I'm probably going to leave it at the default amount of 100. Now I do wanna bring a little bit of detail back into the sky. You can see how well this preset has lifted those shadows and retained the sky detail, but we can go a little bit further by using the uh, sky recovery tool. Let's give that a click. I'm not gonna go super drastic. I just want a little bit of that. So about there, 53. Uh, background depth, I don't think we're gonna need on here because we've got a decent amount of depth in the image already. We're trying to offset that. Uh, Shadow plus, that's probably gonna help, but I'm not gonna go super drastic because again, we wanna keep the natural look of the image, but just kind of make sure that we're not losing too many, too much details in the shadows there. Uh, and then let's take a look at Stratus. Uh, don't want that on this image. I like the de definition in the tops of the trees and the little bit of cloud texture we have down at the end there. I am gonna straighten this up just a little bit more. I think about there looks good to me. Yeah, there we go. So that's looking really good. Vignette minus vignette plus. I would be tempted to just add a little bit of vignette back in actually, uh, just to kind of darken that down, draw your eye uh, through where the river is, and then obviously to 
the little bit of texture in the clouds at the end there. Super, super nice. There's before and after. Quite a transformation, obviously, relatively underexposed image. So we've lifted that a little bit there as well. Uh, but that's with Altitude 3. Uh, creative profile left as default. We've used the uh, shadow plus to bring a little bit of detail back in the shadows, sky recovery just to bring that back, uh, and then vignette plus just to draw the eye to the center of the frame. Love that. Really, really like the greens on this one. Very, very nice, cool toned greens. IRP says, I wonder where the photographer was standing for this one. Uh, probably just out of frame uh, on one of the sides of the bridges because this is shot on a drone. So the photographer is going to be close by, uh, but then not in the position of the camera because that's going to be shot from a drone for this particular image. Can't wait to use these on past landscapes. That's from Megan. Yes, you're going to love it. Just when I get attached to a quest set and new one comes out, I keep re-editing my favorite images just to see what it's like. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good bit of fun re-editing your images. I love going through my back catalog and re-editing and kind of reimagining my images with new presets. Uh, also thinking I need to get myself a drone. Yeah, definitely good fun. There's some really good options out there now as well. Um, some of the small drones that don't require uh, as much in terms of sort of like licensing and restrictions, that kind of stuff. So definitely much, much more accessible. You don't need to be, uh, you know, really kind of skilled to fly them. They have a lot of sensors in there, do a lot of the work for you. So definitely a great time to consider that if you've been interested in it. And these presets will work fantastic for it. Christina says, loving the greens in this set. These will be perfect for Colorado, Colorado landscapes. Gary says, who's on the bridge? I have no idea, Gary. You're going to have to ask Bjorn. Um, could be the photographer. Don't know. They might have got the, uh, the uh, drone controls in their hands uh, dangling over the edge of the bridge. I'm not sure. All right, so let's go ahead and edit these last two images. Now, I picked these ones out because these are uh, kind of the opposite of what this set has been initially designed for. Like I said, th these presets were designed with landscapes and drone photography in mind. Uh, but just to show you the versatility, I wanted to edit a couple of portraits as well so you can see how these work. I've been using them on a lot of my still life photos and really loving the results. Um, so although they're, they're designed with the landscapes and the drone photography in mind, uh, definitely use them for other stuff. You know, play around all these presets. Um, just use them on everything. They're, they're designed to be played around with and, and used in whatever way you like. So I want to show a couple of uh, a couple of portraits just to give you an idea. So this one here from Angela, really gorgeous portrait. We have this couple laid down. Uh, looks like we've got a beachy scene here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the exposure up just a little bit and add some warmth back in with the temperature. Let's go somewhere around there. That's looking good to me. Uh, so let's take a look. So altitude one, and I absolutely adore that transformation. So uh, let's go ahead and use altitude one. That warmth that it adds to the image, that real punch in the contrast looks super nice. And you can see we're still getting really pleasing skin tones, uh, a nice level of contrast. It's a much sort of punchier look, uh, but we can back that off if we want to or add more using that altitude creative profile. So again, if you want to go for a softer look, you can decrease that. If you want to go for a punchy look, you can increase that. I think for portraits, you're probably not going to go ahead and increase it. You're either going to leave it at the default uh, or bring it down. I would maybe bring it down just a little bit on this, just so we bring a little bit of detail back into the skin of the subjects here. And I can bring the exposure up a tiny bit there. I'm going to go ahead and do profile correction because I think we've got a little bit of a vignette going on from the lens. And I like the sort of cleaner look. Uh, background depth, probably. Let's have a look. Yeah, quite like that actually. Background depth is just bringing, as it says, the depth to the background so you can see here how it affects the background and doesn't affect the subjects. So I'm going to add a little bit of that to this just so we kind of really draw the eye to the subjects in the foreground. Uh, Shadow Plus, uh, I think we'll use a little bit as well. I'm just looking at the detail in the hair of this subject down here. So just a little bit of recovery there for that. And that's going to let me bring the uh, overall exposure back down a little bit as well. Uh, I'm not going to use Stratus for this. I don't think it's going to give um, too pleasing of a, a result because we haven't got like sky in the background or anything like that. Uh, and I'm not going to add any vignette or anything to this because I think uh, with the profile correction, it's done a really nice job of just cleaning the image up. So there's your before and there's after and that's with altitude one. I've just backed the creative profile off a tiny little bit. We've done profile correction, a little bit of shadow plus and a little bit of background depth and that is job done. So there's your side-by-side -side comparison. Again, image by Angela, really gorgeous photo. So you can just see how these presets work uh, for portraiture as well. Uh, 
Richard said, I love using Alt-1 on portraits. I agree. I was really shocked when I was testing these out when the beta versions were being developed. Uh, when Richard sent it over, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try it on a preset just to see how it looks. Obviously, they're designed for landscapes and drone photography. And I was really surprised how these look, especially Alt-1, I think is a really gorgeous result. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely uh, don't just think of these as being landscape only. You're going to get some really nice results. Uh, with your portraiture as well. Uh, so nice to see this on a portrait shot as I photograph people in nature more than anything else. Well, this is going to work really well for you. I think you're going to absolutely love the results. It's going to give a, a really nice, rich look to your landscapes that your subjects are in, uh, but it's also going to allow the subjects to look really natural uh, as well. Thank you for doing these, some, uh, some portraits as well. No problem. Uh, so the next one, again, by Angela. Uh, we have this couple here. I love this uh, perspective shooting from above. It's almost like a mini drone shot, if you like. Uh, this is a CR2 file. That means it's a Canon file. That, the last image was the same as well. So I'm just going to bring the exposure up. We definitely need to go ahead and correct the white balance. I'm just going to use the, the selection tool to select the background, which looks close to where we want it to be. Uh, so yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Alt-3 for this. Uh, so that's one click with Alt-3, lovely, lovely results. Again, you can see really nice transformation, just how it renders skin tones, uh, renders the detail in the image there as well. So that's one click with Alt-3. I'm going to bring the Altitude 3 profile down and up so you can see how that looks. Uh, and actually for this, I really like the effect that we're getting with the profile increased. So I'm going to bring that up a good amount, maybe about, let's see, about there, 125. I'm going to do Shadow Plus. I'm just going to back it off. I want a really small amount of Shadow Plus just to bring some detail out in the hair. And that's going to allow me to just bring the overall exposure back down a tiny bit there. So I can work backwards and forwards between uh, the preset amount slider and then the uh, exposure just until I find a nice balance. So that's looking really good to me. Uh, background depth, I'm not going to need to do that on here because we don't have much detail in the background. And actually, I think the way that this image works, it looks more successful having a nice blurred uh, background. I probably will do profile correction. So let's go ahead and do that because it's going to get rid of the distortion, but I'm going to go to vignette plus just to bring a little bit of vignette back into the edges. Uh, and I'm going to now bring the overall exposure back down a little bit as well. Uh, let's take a look at the white balance. I'd maybe go a tiny bit, just a tiny bit warmer, somewhere around about there is looking good to me. Uh, and I think that's it. I probably wouldn't do much else with this. That's before and that's after. Again, this is with uh, altitude three. Creative profile increased a little bit there. Again, I'll show you this is it with the profile down. So we want a bit of a softer look, maybe a more natural look to the skin tones. Uh, but I really like that extra little bit of kind of pop that we're getting by increasing the profile. Um, somewhere maybe, yeah, I think 125 is where I had it. I really, really love that. So I'll show you the side by side. And then go ahead and zoom in. Let's go to 100 so you can see the subjects there. Love that transformation, super, super nice. So again, a great set for your portraits as well. It's gonna give you know a bit of a different result from some of the other portraits out there, uh, portrait sets, uh, presets out there. Um, definitely a punchier look to it, but because you've got that control with the creative profile, you can decide uh, just how soft you want it. So like I said before, you can go for a much softer look if you prefer. So very, very dynamic, very, very kind of adaptable to what you want. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you a couple of portraits there as well so you can get an idea of how these work for those as well as the landscapes and drone photography. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't wait to use these in all my full sessions. Thank you so much. Wow, this is fantastic. Dying, so nice. That's from Maria. Don't die yet. You've not had a chance to use them. Wait until you start using it and then you can die. Um, I can't. That's beautiful. Contrasty, but also really clean. That's from Lloyd. Thank you. Spot on. Love it. And then uh, Barbara says, I love it. Incredible. So let's go back to uh, the, the grid here. Let's go ahead and show all of the edited images. So again, these are all edited with that preset collection. That's Quest 29 Altitude. This set is a bonus set uh, coming to uh, Archipelago Quest subscription in the next few days. 
Uh, let me just go ahead and hide my camera so you can see that other image in the corner there. Uh, so this set comes out in the next few days as a bonus set to our Quest members. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. You'll be able to download Quest 28 Descent immediately. That is a really nice artistic, cool-toned preset collection that's available to download straight away. And then in a few days' time, Quest 29 Altitude uh, will be released as well. And this is a landscape and drone focused uh, preset collection that also works very, very well for lots of other types of images, even portraiture, as you've seen in this stream. All right, so that's it for the edits. Um, we're going to be announcing a winner in the chat and Richard's just popped it in there. So the winners of the pre-release of Altitude are Lloyd Evans, IRP and Taylor Forrest. You're all going to get a pre-release copy uh, of this set, Quest 29 Altitude. So just reach out to us uh, via the email that you can see in the chat there. We'll get that sorted out for you so you can start editing with that immediately. Uh, do go ahead and share the results of your edits in the Archipelago Collective Facebook group uh, just so you can show off that you won on the live stream. Uh, get people excited for these presets that are launching in a few days' time. And for those that didn't get hold of them, like I said, just a few days to wait. These will be landing on Quest very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to Quest and a member immediately so you can get these on the first day that they launch. You'll find the link for that in the chat uh, and also in the description of the video. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for joining this stream. Make sure you give the video a like if you've enjoyed this one uh, and do make sure you're subscribed so you can see more of our live streams, more of our content that we put out on a regular basis. We have things like 60 second edits, other live streams, all sorts of various different things as well. So definitely check out that content because uh, that just helps us to, uh, to know what you like and what to put out in the future as well. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you again in another stream very, very soon.